Moments ago, R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison. This is a significant outcome for all victims of R. Kelly, and especially for the survivors who so bravely testify about the horrific and sadistic abuse they endured. R. Kelly is a predator. With the aid of his fame, his money, and most importantly, his inner circle, R. Kelly preyed upon children and young women for his own sexual gratification for decades. He used coercive control, exemplified by a pattern of isolation, rules, dependence, threats, intimidation tactics, physical abuse, and at least once, the presence of a gun. These are voices of mostly black and brown women and children that were heard and believed and for whom justice was finally achieved. This is a victory for them, for justice, and for future survivors of sexual assault. I hope this sentencing serves as its own testimony that it doesn't matter how powerful, rich, or famous your abuser may be, or how small they may make you feel, justice only hears the truth. Mr. Kelly is not an honest person. This man is a prolific serial predator who utilized his status as a Grammy award-winning household name with global recognition to inflict pain and anguish on so many victims. Today's sentence is a victory that belongs to the brave victims who came forward. Despite intense public scrutiny, despite social media slander, despite threats to their own health and safety, and despite be, being asked to relive the pain of some of the most traumatic days in their lives, they told their stories and they made their voices heard. Mr. K Kelly underestimated the bravery and resilience of those he once preyed upon when they were young and vulnerable. These victims are the unsung heroes today. Today is about them. Today is their day. Today is their victory.